all right once again you're welcome to let's talk tv i'm not gonna bore you with them um, too much um, introduction because um this particular broadcast you're about to listen is one of the most you know um interesting broadcasts that i've actually listened to in a very long while you know a lot of things you know was actually dissected in this particular broadcast now after listening to this broadcast you will understand the desperation of the nigerian government you know to bring down the biafran and struggle you will know the desperation of the nigerian government to bring down the prime minister simon Ekpa. you will know the desperation of the nigerian government to destroy anything that has to do with biafra you will know the desperation of the nigerian government to bring down onyendo maze namdekano i know you would have been hearing um you know some side um talks concerning them um, the leader of the indigenous people of biafra mazenam de kano you know on plans or arrangement you know for them to release him in fact as a matter of fact a lot of issues have been coming up a lot of talks have been coming up on this um uh, you know um release meetings have been going on they've made so many moves so many moves but let me tell you let me tell you what you don't know these moves are not for the favor of biafra actually or for the favor of mazenam de Kano. but they are planning they are planning you know a way they, that they can kill they can buy two beds they can buy two beds with one stone release Mazenam de Kano to bring normalcy. According to them, normalcy in the southeastern part of the country. And secondly, for their own personal gain. So in other words, they are trying to find a way, you know, or different ways to silence the Prime Minister Simon Ekwa Njoko. That shows how Simon Ekwa has eaten deep into the Nigerian government, into the Nigerian system. They are, they are doing everything possible, everything humanly possible to bring down the Prime Minister Simon Ekwa. Everything possible to destroy you know the struggle so wherever you're listening to this particular broadcast do well to call your friends call your brothers call your friends if they are not there with you share this particular video because you know you're about to hear things that you've not actually heard of in a very long while we're about to dissect you know a very important and um, critical issue in the biafran struggle all you have to do is to make sure you listen to this particular broadcast from the beginning to the end i want you to calm down and make sure you're sharing this broadcast as you're listening to it enjoy to like and share the broadcast only about two seconds because i want to tell you a story of what is going on of what is going on if you haven't liked the broadcast please use these two minutes to do the se two seconds i mean to like it and of course share it dear friends i want to tell you something can you hear my voice? If my voice is coming out clear, please let me know in the comment section. I want to tell you something, Biafrans, something that has been happening for so long. You see, given the name of the title, or should I say, sorry, the title of this very live presentation, 
which I have written, Igbo governor slash DOS pushing for Mazin Nam de Kanu to denounce Prime Minister Mazi Samonepa publicly for him to be released. For Mazin Nam de Kanu to regain freedom, he must denounce the Prime Minister Mazi Samonepa. Now, this is the current strategy of the Southeast governors, the illegitimate Igbo governors, and of course, their errand boys, DOS. Now, I want to tell you something. If you remember the word I said from the beginning, I told you that they have reduced they have reduced, they have minimized, and they have, you know, a con. you won't get used. Let me just use that simple one. They have reduced their demands to one. You see, every time they will come, they go to Lion House, Enugu, they will come out in the public and tell us, eh, we are going to Asorok to interface with Mr. President to secure Namdekano's release. That has always been their, you know, their chorus. Now, let me tell you something. This particular thing that is going on, this particular thing that is going on has been going on for some months. Please, please let me know. Let me know because something I, I click something now. Let me know if my voice is coming out clear this this moment now. Because there is something I clicked might you know stop me stop my voice from coming out. Please let me know. Can you hear me, Bia France? Can you hear me, please? Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. Thank you. We have to continue. Now, you see, from the beginning of Mazinam Dekano's kidnap from Kenya, pay attention and remember one word. I want you to remember one word. Write it down, please. That they have reduced their demand to one. To one remember that i will come back to that later that they have reduced their demands to one now let me begin from let me start from beginning i know they are listening they are paying attention to this broadcast <clears throat> let me tell you how it all began after the kidnap and rendition of mazin namdekano from kenya to the zoological republic on the 27th of June, 2021, they met with Mazin Amdekano and told him, listen, we know that the manner which we brought you to the zoo is illegal. They told him, they confronted Mazin Amdekano in the dungeon and told him, look, we know that the manner in which you were brought back to the zoo is illegal. We know. But let me tell you, we have held you, we have held you. We have grabbed you, we have grabbed you. We have put you here in the custody. We have put you here. There is nothing you can do. And nobody is coming here to rescue you. Not even Britain. I want you to pay attention. I've not said this thing before. They told Mazin Amdekano, not even Britain. What I'm saying now, if I need your voice aware of it, Aloye Jimaku is aware of it. All the lawyers are aware of it. All of them. They told Mazenam the Khan, Anye Jide Gogi Bonanye Jide Gogi. Aimana, the way we brought you back is illegal. But Anye Jide Gogi, 
you not go under our custody. You not know, go under our custody. There is nothing you can do about it. Nobody is coming to save you. The only way out is for you to denounce Biafra. Denounce Biafra publicly. This arm Eastern Security Network. Then back then, listen. And uh, we will release you. Turn it, turn IPO, that is the third one. Turn IPOB into a political uh, 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 party so that we will use it to muscle power from out of the north. Listen, back then it was um, Kedafaya, Muhammad Buhari. Denounce Biafra agitation, that is the first demand. Their demand was three, which was coined or uh, which was, you know, circled into political solution. Listen, first one is denounce Biafra agitation publicly, disband Eastern Security Network, disarm them, disband them, which is in one uh, uh, circle, and then turn IPOB into a political party. Because our target, because you have the masses, you have the crowd, you have the followership, now let us use it for our own benefit to muscle power out of the north and win the win a, a 2023 presidential election. Mazen and the Kanu refused. I'm just refreshing your memory. That is not where we are heading. Why I'm touching to this matter? Of course, you all following, especially those of you who have been here for long. Those of you who have been following us for long will understand what I'm saying. So I'm refreshing your memory, not the main thing I want to say. Now. After Mazinam the Kanu rejected their offer in 2021, 2021, they came back. Now, this very strategy that they came with initially from beginning was a strategy being planned by a three by sorry by three parties pay attention now i'm heading to to the main topic the release of mazinam de kano is the strongest thing the i said the strongest thing that has never happened in the zoo before the release of mazinam de kano in fact mazinam de kano is holding nigeria by the scott room because there are four strong interests. Four strong interests. I must say this today. It is the strongest thing that has never happened in Nigeria before. Both keeping Mazinam the Kanu in the custody and releasing him is the hardest thing that has never happened before in Nigeria. I will tell you the reason. There are four very heavy, strong and the gigantic interest if there's anything like that concerning mazinam the Kano's case you see out of the four interests there are two which are clashing they are together two interests are together at the at this moment but in the beginning out of the four interests three interests are in one position while one interest is different from the three now listen let me uh, analyze it for you these three interests these three uh you know parties that have one interest one goal are british british government nigerian government and southeast politicians listen Southeast, Southeast politicians, both the governors and ordinary politicians, they have one interest. Nigerian government and British government have one interest altogether, which is political solution. Inside the political solution, there are three, uh, you know, three conditions, which is I've already mentioned: disbanding of ESN, denouncing Biafra, and the turning IPOB to into a political party. That was their you know, men in uh, political solution, which three, these three heavyweight 
these three heavyweights have been championing British government, Nigerian government, Southeast politicians, which you can call Southeast government, be it the governors, the senators, House of Reps, everybody, Southeast government. So there are three governments championing one interest. And the fourth interest is Mazinam de Kano's interest, which is the freedom of Biafra. And to Mazinam de Kano, it supersedes every other interest and condition that they placed on his table. Are you paying attention? Now, remember the word. We have grabbed you. We say we don't grab you. And there is nothing you can do. Nobody is coming to save you. Now, DOS is nowhere to be found. They are not in the picture because they have backed down. If also they found government and the name, they can farm it. It's none of their business. Apotem Megara na radio biafra. Mem auto mem auto bamba bamba na pukwa. Or do wakwe again like after six months, after kwe again, china sanguru onya onya wanketa or puta bamba boja 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 or naba. After six months, or maputa kwe again. That is the strategy. Now these three powerhouses had one interest, had they had one interest, which is Political solution which has four things in sorry, three things inside inside the political solution. Mazinam de Kanu's interest is Biafra. Mazinam de Kanu does not have any interest in their political solution. So these three powerhouses have been championing this interest. Using all the people involved, all the strategies, both Ohanes and Diyoshi, uh, old and the retired politicians, and all, every, they have been using all means to champion this interest, to present it to Mazinam de Kanu, to convince him to accept their, their, their offer in order for him to be released or rot in jail. Mazinam de Kanu stood firm on his conviction that is only Biafra who settled the matter. Now, and they were very, very mean and serious, standing firm on their offer to Mazinam de Kano. Now, do you know what happened? We came into the picture. I want you now to pay attention. Remember what I'm talking about today, which says, Igbo governors and DOS pushing for Nam de Kano to denounce Prime Minister Mazi Samanepa publicly for him to be released. That is the man, that is today's topic, and that is the current situation now. This intel, nobody, and I'm not sure if any other person know, know, knows about it because I got the intel from a right source. The same way I got the intel of when the zoo, uh, sorry, when the Igbo politicians, especially the the governors, went to Abuja and told Tinu, uh, Buhari to give them soldiers to crush ESN on January twentieth, January twentieth, twenty twenty, January twentieth, twenty twenty. I made that very broadcast. Give us soldiers give us soldiers and arms to crush esn january 20th 2020 is the same way i got the intel about political solution three uh, you know three offers inside political solution in 2021 is the same way i have gotten this intel today and in no distant time you will start seeing it happening even now today buria nuche in no distant time, you start seeing what I want. What I want to say now, you start seeing it happening. Now, let me tell you: the moment we, through Mazi Samanepa, the Prime Minister, came on board, came on picture, 
Remember, when this whole shenanigan was going on, we were not in the picture. We were, we are, we were following Mazen Amdekano, agitating with him, but we were not, you know, Mazen Samanekwa was never been taken that serious. Though people who know him and people who are, who didn't have a deep and address, must have known that Onya Yabun Subu, but they have never taken him that serious as at that time. You know, they only fear his intelligence. Now, when we came on board, after the kidnap of Mazenam the Kano, we now made life so difficult, so dif extremely difficult for the saboteurs, especially those who are here in Biafra land, the Igbo politicians, which is the, which I call the Southeast government. Do you know what happened? Initially, they were thinking it's a joke. Until they realized that this is no way near joke. This is not a joking matter. We made them uncomfortable. They began to run around looking for solution. Looking for help here and there. Now, what we did with our activities was to push the interests of the Southeast government. When I say Southeast government, I, know, I hope you understand the people I'm talking about. Now, is to remove them from their initial interest, which they share with the federal government and British government together, which is political solution that has threatens inside. Denounce Biafra, the, disband ESN, and turn I pop to political party. Now, listen, this political solution, which inside you have British there, you have the federal government there, which their own interest is to drop Biafra. They don't care whether you turn I pop into political party. Their own uh, uh, main point there is drop Biafra agitation and the anything about arm struggle must be crushed must be brought to zero that is the main interest of british government and the federal government of the zoo now listen we have pushed the southeast government to change from that initial interest that they share together with the federal government and the british government we push them from that interest they have now dropped i want you to remember where i'm where i'm going i'm telling you about the release of mazinam the canon and the current you know uh, 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 what do you call it strategy which the southeast government has now reduced to one pay attention on once i get into information i'll tell you now do you know what is going on because of the activities of Mazi Samanepa, the Prime Minister, the Biafra Liberation Army, and all of us collectively, we forced the Southeast government to move away from the interests they all share together with the British and federal government to now begin to talk about the release of Mazi Namde Kano because of what is happening in Biafra land. What is happening in Biafra land, the number one is sit at home. Number two, they want to regain not just the trust, but the control of Southeast. I want to use the, their own language, Southeast. So it is a big shame to the go Southeast government that they are not in control of the Southeast, the place they claim to govern. Pay attention, I'm going somewhere. It is a very big shame, one of the shameful thing ever, that you claim to be a government, but you are not in control of the area that you, are, you claim to govern. The whole world is aware that normally, on a normal basis, these fools are not supposed to still remain as the governors 
or political leaders within that very area wherever they claim they are governing. The whole world is aware that as long as Biafra land is concerned, these fools are not governors. These fools are not senators representing anywhere in our land. That these fools are not uh, members of House of Representatives representing anything, anybody, or anywhere in Abuja on behalf of our land. So, and is a great pressure, a great pressure coming from their first master, which is Abuja, and their second master, which is Britain. Are you following? So, they can't hold it because of that and they know that the keeping of Mazinam de Kano in the DSS dungeon is contributing to what is going on today at least for the Monday sit at home which they called us non-state actors and by law their own law by the zoo by their own law of mind not the constitution by their law of mind a non-state actor has no right to order a public shutdown of a territory where there is governor. That is their own mindset, their law of mind, their own mindset. So it is a great displeasure, a great dis disgrace to them. And now the pressure is too much because both their first master and their second master are aware that they have lost it all so because of that they deviated from the main interests of the they deviated from their collective interest from beginning and now they started telling they started pushing for the compromised release of Mazinam de Kano. I know where I use the word compromised release because the release wouldn't be original the release was just to show him to the people, the Biafra people, so that we we'll say, hey, Mazinam de Kano has been released. But Mazinam de Kano will be under their own personal custody. Are you paying attention? To us, Mazinam de Kano is released. He is free. But in reality, he is under the custody of southeast government because he can no longer do the things that he's supposed to do as a free man he cannot travel out of biafra land he can't do anything he can't even talk about biafra he will be under their own custody just for them to gain you know the the the, the control of the place they call Southeast. Are you paying attention? Now, when they came with this idea to their first and second masters to release Mazinam the Kano to them, they were unable to convince them. Listen, they were unable to convince their first and second masters that happens to be the federal government of the zoo and the British government that if you release Mazinam the Kano, we are going to control him. They couldn't convince their masters in Abuja and London that we are going to control him. So it became very, very difficult because their masters did not, you know, uh, 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 believe, did not believe what they say what they are saying therefore their masters rejected their request they don't <laughs> they don't there are many things going on behind the scene a lot of people are not aware their masters rejected their request to release mazinam the can without them obtaining assurance from mazinam the can himself and putting down his signature that it is over as far as Biafra agitation is concerned. So it is impossible for their masters to believe what the Southeast government was telling them. Mazinam Bikanu would have been released 
couple of months ago. To be honest, he would he would have been released, genuinely released, but not purely released because he would have been under the custody of the Southeast government. Now, when they failed to convince their masters, their two masters, for the release of Mazin and the Khan, they came back and went back to drawing board. Listen. <laughs> now, do you know the interest of Mazinam de Kano? Mazinam de Kano has only one interest, which is Biafra, which is very difficult for the zoo and British government to give him. Now, this Southeast government has been telling the zoo federal government and the British government about the reality on ground, what is happening on ground, which they have failed to understand or to acknowledge. Do you know what they do? They keep on pressurizing the Southeast government to do something because where this whole thing is happening is within their terrain. Is within their terrain. But these people are in Abuja and the London do not understand the reality on ground, what is going on. But those who are, you know, somehow in control, which are not in control, those that I call Southeast government, really understand what is going on in the Southeast where they claim to govern. And whenever they go to Abuja to tell their ogre, their ogre will brush them. Their ogre will be angry with them very, very. Their ogres in Abuja is very, very angry with them. That they must not allow what is happening to continue. They must not allow the so-called non-state actors to have control over the territory where they claim to govern. It is a very, very big clash. When I say very, I don't know. Maybe very is an understatement. It is a heavy clash between these three parties. Mazenam de Kanu is on his own. His interest is our own interest, which is Biafra freedom. Now, do you know the current situation? After they have tried everything they could, to see a way to kidnap Mazi Samanekpa and fail. They tried to go to Abuja, uh, to, uh, they sent many people to kidnap him in uh, 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 Finland and they failed. They sent both, they, they have sent everything. That one, Mazi Samanekpa himself, the prime minister, knows better than me because Naim. Where did they look for? So he knows. I only have idea that something like that is going on, but he knows better than me on that side. I don't know more, but I know they have been trying their best. And there's a time I also got an intel that they have said after the war between Mazi Samanekpa, the prime minister, and Peter Mba, let me tell you another one that I've not said. They went back to drawing board before this current drawing board they have gone back to. They came up with an idea of talk less. There's a concluding word that they used, which I grabbed very well through my own uh, 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 intel. Let us talk less and do more. That was their concluding word. Let us talk less and do more that is the time they began to send all their kidnappers assassins uh, suicide bombers to finland and i sent that message to the prime minister i told him boss the quifanda conclude let us talk less and do more that moving forward you may not be hearing them talking about you again in the public 
but they are doing something on the ground. So be very careful. I told him, he told me that he knows. He literally told me that he's aware. I said, very good. Thank God you know. Now, the current situation now, as we are speaking, because after this one now, we'll open the line. The current situation, Azua now. <laughs> Since they have failed to lay their filthy hands on the anointed, the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, His Excellency Mazi Simon. That is how God wants it. He who the calf feeds, let him wear it. Now, since they failed to grab him, <laughs> they want to use Mazinam the canon Azoa to tame him, to silence him completely. Even now, no be joke, no be jais. Even now, bo pure. Please let me know if my voice is coming out clear. Let me know now, please. Let me know. Let me know before we continue. Let me know if my voice is coming out clear, please. Can you hear me, dear friends? Can you hear me? Let me know so we continue. Nkeep Azua. Nkeep Azua now. When they failed with all their evil plans to hold Mazi Samanepa, and bring him back to the zoological republic they have seen it is clear to them that finland is not britain and it's not kenya they have also seen that there is no way no idea no tricks that they can be able to lure the prime minister out of finland especially to africa or to any country in Asia. Listen. Again, Mazi Samanekpa tweeted sometime in the past, a couple of months ago, if not weeks, that his foot will never step in Africa until Biafra is fully restored. That tweet, he did not know what, the, what that tweet cost. He didn't know. He just said it from his mind, from his heart. But he didn't actually know <laughs> what that tweet cost. <laughs> <Chai. coughs> he said it, but he did not know the what he did. What he that simple tweet. I will not. I will never step my foot in Africa until Biafra is restored. It's a simple tweet, which I even recorded. I believe I, I remember I recorded it. I did the, 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 the news. I did the broadcast. Now, do you know when they believe they have failed? They believe. They have believed. They have believed that they have failed. Although, they will not stop. Listen. They cannot stop. They know within themselves that they have failed. About Mazi Samanet by the Prime Minister. They know they have failed, that side. But they cannot agree. They cannot stop. They'll keep on trying till the last day. Now, do you know what they have concluded? And this one now, this plan now, DOS is the one that brought the plan. They have concluded, since Mazinam the Kanu will be appearing in court soon, that Mazinam the Kanu must, listen, you know, they said must publicly denounce the Prime Minister of Biaoji, i.e., His Excellency Mazi Samanep. That once he does that, they will release him. You know what? They want to. They want to use Mazinam the Kano against the Prime Minister. Now, there are two faces. The two faces. This very 
They want to use one stone to buy two beds. DOS wants to use the opportunity of Mazinam Dekano denouncing the Prime Minister to climb again. You know, they are now in the trenches. They, have, they are gone completely. So for them to climb, it's not for them to climb to start fighting for Biafra, but for them to climb and start getting the money back, the contribution of Biafra people. That is their own target. The DOS target is to use this public denouncement to climb again that Biafra people may start contributing to their own pocket. Because the proceed of the sale of Mazinam de Kano is long finished. It's no longer there. It's finished. Finito. So, now, owu na asafa nko jo, owu na asafa na asasifi ke nko jo. Remember I told you that they are no less than 100 people. They are no less than 100 people. Is it 1,000 or 100,000 people that I told you? Or 1,000 people that, so, that collectively sabotage Mazinam de Kano and sold him off? I told you that, right? Now, that same money that was brought was shared between themselves. So the money don't finish, Tete. This is the fourth year running. The money don't finish. Now, they want to begin to milk beer France, doing nothing. You just contribute to them, and then they will share the money as they have been doing. They pay themselves salaries without doing anything, without using the money for the freedom of Biafra. That is their own target, number one. Then, the target of the Southeast governors was not actually to be truthfully release Mazinam de Kano. Because they know that if Mazinam de Kano is released, he will go back to continue the fight for freedom. And he will be more brutal than he used to be because of the anger of what they have done to him already. So they want to pin him down. He will be released to us, to our own side. We'll see that he's released. But they are going to use their own strategy to pin him down that he will never be able to escape the you know the 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 within where they call southeast and then to continue to fight for biafra but to our own eyes he has been released and then to the to their own belief he must have rendered mazi samanepa you know useless in the fight for freedom are you getting what i'm saying that is now their current i'm telling you now although they have failed you know why i said they have failed mazin nam de kano himself is aware that the only person not just fighting for uh, freedom but also doing what he would have done even doing it times two or three if not times ten he knows that the only person doing it as he stands today is Mazi Samanepa. And that is the only reason Mazi Nam Dekano is ready to spend another any amount of years they want in the DSS custody until Biafra is released. Because whenever he is being told, Nokuna Chanezi, and nukuto kuna chanezi, na obanje na obanezi, na ane na abagara gara nezi, na ndizu na abakiti kiti kata kata, na janja wida anare kume na ane anye. Any time, mazinam de kanu hears this story, arua na ato ek pole na pole na, oh na agu atari ife na aga. <laughs> Mazinam de Kano is ready to stay there even if they want to give any amount a amount of years doesn't care as long as he keeps getting the news na janja weed na bakiti kiti katakata 
na ni igbo as long as he keeps getting the news na no space no space for janja weed in in biafra land he doesn't care on we born aga he's not in a hurry mazinam dekan is not in a hurry let me say it today now we want him released today today mazinam dekan is not in a hurry <laughs> Once he keeps getting that message, he's very, very okay in his mind, not his body. His body might be weak, but in his mind, he's okay. <laughs>